Hello, hello, and welcome to this Man in the Field 21 YouTube video. My name is Josh Bayou, bro, and here today on the channel, we're going to discuss how to stop Ryan Tannehill and this dynamic Titans offense. As you know, they have Derrick Henry, who had over 20 plus rushing yards last year, so they can run the football, and they can also throw over Ryan down the field to Corey Davis, who, of course, now in the offseason, he went to the New York Jets, but he was with the Titans this past season, and they also have A.J. Brown, who is a heck of a wide receiver, a physical wide receiver. I'm going to show you how to disrupt their offense so that you can get the ball back to your defense and also score on their defense as well. Remember to subscribe to the channel so that you can see more amazing videos and content from yours truly. Also share with your friends so that they can subscribe as well. As I always say, y'all make the channel. So I need y'all to subscribe and also share with your friends so that they can spread the word, spread the word about this amazing channel that I'm doing. Also, push notifications so that you can be notified of when a new episode of Man in the Field 21 appears on the channel. So here we're about to face the Tennessee Titans. I have the New England Patriots. We're nine and four on the season. So we're on a three game winning streak right now going into this game today. So here we're going to kick off to them and they're gonna get the ball first. So I'm gonna show you how to disrupt this offense. And here comes Ryan Tannehill. We're going to get after him. And there we go. That's a six-yard game. You can see how tough it is to stop Derrick Henry. And that is going to be completed to Humphreys for a first down. So they ran the ball and now they've thrown it out to their slot receiver. Let's go! One, nine! There you go. Gotta get him down. This should have been a one yard game at best, but Derrick Henry is so good just punishing defenders. You really gotta get to him. the stop. So now it's third and eight. And it's going to be completed. And it's going to be a three and out. So they were able to move the ball on this drive. And now they're going to attempt the wrong field goal. And it's no good. So now we're going to get it on the change of possession and now we are in some pretty good field position. And that's a one yard loss. That's Jarrell Casey making the play. He's one of their standout defensive players. Of course he was with the Denver Broncos this past season but he was a long time uh, time. That's going to be a first down to Kyle Rudolph. So now it's going to be first down and 10, but we're going to let this first quarter go. So it's no score, but we are now closing in on the red zone. So here we go. We're going to do a short pass here. That's going to be a first down to Austin Eckler out of the backfield. So as I told you, he can uh, run it, but also receive it out of the backfield as well. That's going to be the Jamison Crowder over the middle of the field. So that's going to be a five-yard game. going to be a one yard game so it's going to be third and four. It's going to be fourth and two. 
you know what? I feel comfortable getting these two yards. go get the first down so the drive continues and we are in a good position right now we're just going to keep pounding it right down the throat and there, there goes the touchdown so we're able to get it in for six we, we pay off the missed field goal with the touchdown and we are now going to be up seven to nothing with about 37 seconds left to go so far, we stopped them on their first drive with the missed field goal, and we were able to score a touchdown. There we go. We get them down, and so now defensively, all we have to do is just make sure that we do not give up any points before halftime. second so now we're going to kick it off to start the second half so it's 10 nothing we lead and we dominated thus far here in the first half now we get it out to the 33 yard line so that's where we're going to start and really here this is kind of a put away drive we're able to move the ball, kind of get this thing rolling, and we can really discourage this team from coming back in this game. They go a first down to Hunter Renfro, so the drive continues, and we are pretty much moving the ball at will right now. to sack and we weren't able to protect on the back end so now it's second down in 19. They go to catch to Kyle Rudolph so that's now first down so the drive continues. And there we go. Touchdown, and we are blowing them out. So now it's 16 to nothing, and we are firmly in control in this game. Now up 17 to nothing on Tennessee. So we have just come into their building, and we've done what we needed to do thus far. We have just dominated them on both sides of the ball, and they're not able to really stop us. And so now they're going to get the ball back, but it's 17 to nothing, and we are firmly in control in this game. And they're going to tack 
Michael as he completes it to Derrick Henry. He'll also to catch it out of the backfield some. Even though he's more of a run, uh, bruising running back. They go Delaney Walker who of course was not on the Titans last year. He was injured so he was a free agent. They cut him. He's a really good tight end. He can block as well as receive as you saw right there. Derrick Henry, and that is not what you want to see him out to the open field. And so this ends up being a touchdown. And that's their first score of the game. But we are still in a really good position. Now up 17 to 7. So they're now going to have to go for the onside kick, which is what we're about to see right now. So we get the recovery. Now pretty much we can just run out the rest of this club. So that's going to be second and 11. So they're going to call timeout immediately to stop the clock. At this point, we pretty much are in control. So we fumbled the football. And now we really do have to make sure that we stop him right here. We're still up by 10, so we're in good position. But this is not the way you want it. Gosh, and that should have been a pick. That should have ended the game right there. I just hate that my corners are not able to. So that's going to be, that should just be an interception right there. Just don't understand why guys are not catching the football. Five seconds left. Okay, so now that's going to be a touchdown. So now it's 17 to 13. And now they're going to have the point after. Which is good. So now they're down by three. So we're giving up two touchdowns in this fourth quarter. But still, they have to get another onside kick. Which we recover. So now, as long as we don't turn the ball over. Which we don't, we get another first down. So now, at this point, the game is over. We could just kneel down. And now they're going to call their final timeout. But we pretty much are in a winning position now. It was close. They, they scored two touchdowns. So they made it difficult on us. But at the end of the day, we really dominated them. And uh, made, sure that at the, made sure that at the end we were able to close this game out. back near it again and more clock is going to run off the clock and so we are in a winning position right now kick it's no good so now they take over but there's three seconds left so the only thing they can do is just throw a Hail Mary at this point Complete. 
so the game is over. So we get another win. That's now a four game winning streak and we come into Tennessee and get the job done. So now let's see what prize we get. Deshaun Watson, hmm. season record for extra points made, Austin Hooper, Devin McCourty. We're gonna update the team, redeem the coins and continue. Scoreboard power outage. The scoreboard at the stadium lost power and is in need of repair. So we're gonna pay that. And now we are going to go back to the startup screen. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching this Man in the Fell 21 YouTube video. My name is Josh Bayou Bro. Remember, subscribe to the channel so that you see more amazing videos and content from yours truly. Also, share with your friends so that they can subscribe as well. As I always say, you guys make the channel, so y'all need to subscribe and also share with your friends so that they can see this amazing channel in action. Also, push the notifications button so that you can be notified when a new episode of Man NFL 21 appears on the channel. Well, that's all for now, guys. Until next time, Man NFL fans, this is Josh Bayou Bro signing off. Bye.